Hello guys, today I have brought an exciting Gantt chart application for you within the Excel where you can uh, use your full screen option to see all your projects on the full screen. You can export them into the PDF. You can scroll left and right uh, across your weeks, right? And see uh, the progress accordingly. Uh, I will give you the full demonstration how you can use this. So if you want to download, you can download the copy from the description. So let's understand how we can use this application. Before starting, let's subscribe to this channel first. Thank you. So here you can uh, list down all your project uh, who are responsible for them, when you're planning to start and finish and when it's actually start and finish, right? And then I have entered a formula uh, to calculate the completion percentage you can also enter manually yourself but it will calculate itself and at the right side you are seeing a gantt chart grid where it will show you the progress on the main screen uh, and on the top you are seeing the weekly dates right and you can also scroll these dates by using this scroll button right uh, let me just give you a quick example uh, of the real scenario. For example, my first project is collecting the data, right? Then I need to, let's say, analyze the data. Uh, the third assignment, let's say, is, is to development of app, mobile app. Then uh, testing and debugging of app. Uh, deployment is my next assignment and train the user right so for example these are all the assignment that I'm expecting to do right so, so let's say collecting the data is the responsibility of John uh, analyzing the data is the responsibility of Jennifer uh, Development of mobile app is the responsibility of uh, Oways and John. Uh, testing and debugging of the app is the responsibility of the same Oways and John. Uh, deployment is the responsibility of again Oways and John. And training the user is again the responsibility of ways and John right so now here we enter our plan dates okay when we are actually planning 28th 5th June 2023 you will also notice that your grid is updated here from the least starting date coming in the plan sheet right and I am expecting this the data to be collected by let's say 31st July 2023 make sure your date format is correct so you can see uh, the system has marked the area okay this is the time from which you have to collect the data right then I need to start the analyzing the data for example so analyzing the data will start from the 1st August 2023 and I expect uh, this to be done by let's say uh, 31st September 2023 okay 31st september 2023 okay the so september is the month of 30 30 september 2023 then i need the deployment of the app the deployment the app i will start from 1st october 2023 and let's say it will be done by 25th november 2023 right so you can see that's how the progress bar is creating in our gantt chart now I want uh, the testing and debugging of the app to start from the very next day 2023 or I can let's say take a break and I'd say 15 December 2023 uh, and it should end by let's say 2nd Feb 2024 right then the deployment will be start at 10th Feb 2023 2024 and I expect this the deployment to be complete by let's say uh, 25th Feb 2024 and finally I will train the user on 30th March 2020 sorry uh, on 20th Feb 2024 and I expect the training to be completed by 20th March 2024 okay so I just 
design all my stuff here so you can see i can use the scroll button and see all the progress and here it is showing that the today's date right so you are seeing the red line here okay this is our current date here and you can see all our plannings are placed in our grand chart accordingly now let's say i was expecting uh, the collection of the data to be start on 25th june but in actual it is started on let's say uh, on 5th july 2023 and i was expecting this to be end by 31st july but it was done quickly it was done by 25th july 2023 so you can see here this was my planning area right but the part was completed just within this period right so now let's say uh, the analyzation of the data started at as planned of uh, 1st august 2023 but instead of 30th september it went above the schedule and it's end at let's say 5th of october 2023 so now you can see the area is now bigger and we have overlapped our planned area right so the development of the app started let's say on 6th of october 2023 instead of 1st october and it ends on let's say 20, 30th november 2023 right so now you can see this was actually should be planning uh the as per planning it should be start from here but actually start later and you can see this area was done for testing and debugging of app uh, it's supposed to be started on 15 december but let's say start on 20th december 2023 and instead of 2nd feb 24 uh, i am now expecting my schedule to go on feb 2020 5th feb 24 so you can see it's 68 percent because today is 21st gen so if i scroll down so now you will see the bar like this right so it says it's planned to be started from here but it actually started here and we are done just this part and this part is remaining so that's why 68 percent but you can manually adjust let's say if you want to do 40 percent 50 percent or 100 percent it will be all done right so it's depend on you so i just apply a formula here which you can uh, i suggest to use right so if i enter my deployment dates which are beyond the today's date so let's say i'm expecting this to be start on 10th fab and it should be end by 25th fab so you can see it's dark here similarly train the user um, you can again enter the same date if you want 20th march 2024 right so the area will be darker so this part is to be done because there are zero percent done yet we are under this uh, work to be done use this export to pdf button to convert uh, this into pdf for your reference purpose you can send it to anyone as per your desire uh, you can change this logo and you can use this full screen option right to see the information in the full screen as well so this button will take you in the full screen in and out right i hope you like this project let me know if you have any question and you can download your copy from the description 